All right, here we are at 1445 Sansen Drive in Fairborn, Ohio. This is the Fairborn School District. This is a two bedroom, one and a half bath condo, uh, pretty close to Wright State and also uh, Wright Patterson Air Force Base. And this is basically the outdoor view. That is actually uh, the pool and clubhouse over there. Um, there's a little bit of a, I think there's a tennis court over there. Um, and also a, a basketball court. So um, HOA fees are 165 a month. And um, you do get all of those things that I just mentioned. So the party room, the swimming pool, um, and then the hazard insurance, which basically insures exterior uh, kind of issues you know to the house so if the roof goes bad um, the exterior the siding goes bad then they'll replace it uh, which is normally how condos work but you really have to be uh, very careful about reading the bylaws uh, and what we normally do is we put that into the contract that you get a review period so that you um, can review it make sure it's acceptable and then if not then you can back out and that's kind of a kind of a normal practice uh, that we put into the contract. So anyway, nice, uh, in my opinion, these are nice. So these are 1983 builds. Um, this is basically the living room, kind of a sunken living room area. Uh, nice fireplace with the stone work all, 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 all the way up to the ceiling. Um, that is actually one of the bedrooms. It's a two bedroom. That's one of the bedrooms that you can have uh, basically a closed accordion wall uh, that you see right there. Um, we'll, we'll look at that a little bit later, but we'll go down into the kitchen area. And so um, I, what I like is the wood. Now, I think that's sort of trending out. I think at some point it's going to trend back in. I really like the, the wood look of it. It's more of an older thing, 70s, 80s, um, or even older than that, really. This is the coat closet. Um, so the kitchen, this is like the dining area in the kitchen is uh, right here so it has just this really a low quality um, uh, laminate you know it's got the wood grain on it but it's a low quality um, and the flooring is actually pretty decent so the flooring is um, is like a rollout laminate as well um, with the wood wood uh, wood theme continued throughout so um, it's functional, you know, so it's a nice size um, for a condo, you know, total square footage, I think, is just over a thousand square feet. Um, and so it's a nice size, you know, very functional how they have it laid out. And so um, going through the kitchen here, uh, so you can see it is electric appliances. Uh, there is a refrigerator, plus there is a dishwasher, um, two sinks right there. there. There is a garbage disposal. Um, this is normally a light, so it has the tube lights, uh, fluorescent lights normally, um, but I could not get it to turn on. So I don't know if they just took them out or whatever, but that's normally how that works. So this one's a little unusual. So not all of these units are the same design. So you actually have a separate, in some of the units, you have a separate bathroom area with its own door. Now what this did is basically turned the little area in here with where you would put the washer and dryer and then the utilities are in here um, and uh, and you have basically the sink area right here and a toilet here but this is the garage so you're kind of walking right through the bathroom when you're uh, parking if you're parking in the garage or you know going to store anything which is what most people do is put their storage in the garage uh, mainly because it is a smaller garage on this side is very good so if you actually parked in here especially if you parked a uh, car front first you would be able to get out with this little piece right here it's about six inch uh, probably i'd say actually eight inches um, so you can open your door you can get out you'd be fine on the other side though there's only really like three inches you don't really have a whole lot of space to open it up and especially with this cabinet right here you're not going to really be able to open your door maybe even park it'd be a little tight to actually park in there so um but anyway uh it's functional and so you can put a car in there and uh it's usable so but this would be the hvac system a little bit newer i don't know what the date is on it but it is newer to me i'd say within five years um hard to say i don't see a date um 
And then this is 2003 on the water heater. So getting up there on its lifespan, it's possible that um, that the HVAC is, is close to that. Actually, here's a date on here. It looks like 2010 for the HVAC. Yep, installed in 2010, so 10 years old. Uh, looks like the water softener is definitely older. This is newer. Um, and then the toilet's newer. So, you know, it's functional. It's a little weird, but it's functional. And so also there's a little patio on the side. So this is one cool thing about these condos is that they do sort of have like a little bit of privacy. Although the AC unit's right there, which is, uh, looks like it's lopsided. It needs to be leveled. Um, but you do have a little bit of privacy here with this fence and the fence itself um, Is taken care of by the owner. So that's one of the abnormalities about this HOA is the fences um, Even though they're sort of attached to the house. It's not really maintained by the HOA. So uh, Looks like you know throughout this newer carpet uh, except for what you're seeing here. These look like it's older um, the downstairs carpet looks newer um, and so when you get up to the landing area here, you do have a linen closet here. You have the one bedroom over here. Um, this is a bathroom with the Jack and Jill setup, And then this would be sort of like the master bathroom. So we're going to go just take a look real quick peek at the linen closet. Pretty normal. And then uh, we'll go into the secondary smaller bedroom. And it's really, I'd say it's better as an office. Uh, you really can't put a queen size bedroom in here, bedroom set with the set. Um, so it'd be, it'd be tough. It'd be really tough to kind of fit that in here. This is better for like a double, um, but really kind of an office. I would say this is a better as an office. But I do like the, the ability to shut this accordion door. Maybe you have a guest, this is the guest bedroom, and then you shut this and this is where the guests could stay. Um, and then maybe have a futon or something in here with the office or whatever, and they could just, you know, crash here. But, um, so it kind of gives you some dual functionality there. All right, so then going into the full bath, so it is one and a half bath, one full bath, one half bath. And this is the full bath. It has the insert in there. Um, looks like a newer toilet, a little bit older sink. Um, overall nice um, and then as you can see this is the master bedroom and then this is the hall so you would basically shut that door there shut this door here and then you can lock this and it turns into basically a private bathroom um, if you're the only one living in here obviously uh, it would be easy to do that but um, if you have somebody living in the second bedroom then it would be a little bit tougher to do that and you would have to share it. So you would have to keep both of those doors locked potentially. So um, Jack and Jill set up, it's functional though. So that's the good thing about, you know, how they have this square footage laid out. It's very well laid out for the size, which is a little bit smaller. Nice, uh, kind of a nice view, two big windows in here in the master bedroom, what I would call the master bedroom. And then this bedroom, let's see, the dimensions is 15 by 10. So a little bit narrow. Uh, you'd probably put your bed right here, maybe come out here, but you can definitely put a king size bed plus the, the, the set in here if you wanted to. It'd be a little tight, but it could fit a king size bed. I'd say a queen would be a little bit better. Nice walk-in closet, which is nice to see. And then also storage above the closet. So you can even put some more um, rows in here of you know, shelving if you want to make it uh, a little bit more usable. And then this is cool right here, a laundry chute that goes all the way down. Now obviously that's the water softener, so I don't know um, if, you want <laughs> if you want all of your uh, clothes just hanging on the pipes down there, but it, it is there and you can put a little basket at the bottom of this, this uh, little um, shaft and it would catch it, you know, so you could catch it at the bottom. So I don't know that that's really too usable, but it would be, it is there and it's, it's in a, something that you can, you know, potentially look into doing. Um, but that is pretty much it. So that is the whole tour of 1445 Sansen. 
Again, I'm Howie with Team Next, Home Experts Realty. If you have any other questions or want to see anything else, let me know. Signing off. Thank you. Bye.